Hearing from the widow of fallen Raleigh police officer Gabriel Torres six months after he was shot and killed during that mass shooting that happened in Raleigh's Headingham neighborhood. A new bill named after him aims to expand death benefits to officers who die as they are headed to work. CBS 17's Joseph Holloway live at the legislative building where Jasmine Torres and the bill's sponsors just spoke in a news conference. Joseph. Yeah, and Jasmine Torres became very emotional when talking about what she and her daughter have been through over the past six months and the challenges they face because they haven't been able to receive these benefits. We went from a family of three to an army of two. It's been more than six months since the death of Raleigh police officer Gabriel Torres. His widow, Jasmine, became a single parent to their two-and-a-half-year-old daughter, Layla, and she found out that she would not be able to receive death benefits under the current state law because Gabe was on his way to work, so he's not considered to have died in the line of duty. I received notices, you know, I'm losing benefits with the city. I w was not going to be eligible for these. It was still up in the air. No decision was made. This new bill called the Gabe Torres Act would ensure that families of officers who die on their way to work can receive death benefits. What we know for certain is that our law enforcement officers are never off duty. They are always ready to respond. Torres says she and her daughter will continue to be that army of two and fight to make a difference in honor of Gabe. And that we fight. And that we fight for what's right. And we fight for a future. We fight for change. And we fight for each other. And if the bill passes, it would be retroactive to January 1st of last year, so the Torres family would be able to receive those benefits. Live in Raleigh, Joseph Holloway, CBS 17 News. All right, Joseph, thank you.